Welcome back to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where, as you can see, we're making something called lemon bread. I have never actually had this lemon bread, so I'm very excited about trying this out and figure out if this is actually a bread, more of a cake. I'm not sure, but there's only one way to find out. So join me as we both figure out how to make <laughs> lemon bread. All right, first thing we're gonna to need to do is get six tablespoons of butter or margarine, and in parentheses, maybe melted. As you can see, I didn't opt for melted. I just went with room temperature. And then cut it into manageable little cubes. To that, I added one cup of white sugar and creamed them together as best I could. Once that was done, you add one egg at a time for a total of two eggs until it's all incorporated. Next into probably too small of a bowl, we are going to mix together the one and a half cups of flour, the one teaspoon of baking powder, and the pinch of salt until that's well combined. And then we will slowly add that into the batter we have until it itself is well incorporated. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and add the one half cup of milk and combine. Next, we will add the peel of one whole lemon, and then mix that together. Next step is to add one half cup of chopped nuts fine, it says. I decided to go with almond because lemon-almond sound like a pretty good combo. Dump the almonds into the batter and then mix them all together. Now into a greased loaf pan, you will dump all the batter. And as you can see here, I went ahead and put the parchment paper so it's easier to pull out when it is done. And you're going to throw that into a 325 degree preheated oven for one hour. While that's baking, we're going to go ahead and make the syrup to put over the bread. You're going to take that lemon that you used all the zest from, along with one third cup of sugar, and then mix it together until all of the sugar has dissolved. Five minutes before the bake timer is up, you're gonna pour the syrup on top of the bread, taking the knife along the edge of the bread to let the syrup soak down into the base of the bread. Let the bread cool until it is lukewarm, then you can pull it out and put it onto a cooling rack. And voila! lemon bread. And how does this taste? Um, a little too syrupy. Honestly, I think the addition of the a third cup of sugar and all of that lemon juice really just made it too, too sweet. Um, if you cut it in half or even put that uh, lemon juice with some powdered sugar as a glaze over the top of that, it'd probably be much, much nicer. But at least this is a base, and with a little bit of tweaking, this could be a really nice little treat to have for your Thanksgiving. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next week with another edition of Grandma's Cookbook.